Hey everyone, my name is Johnny. I'm starting a series of videos on Python tutorials. And in this video, we will be getting started with Anaconda. So first, what is Anaconda? To make the long story short, Anaconda is a Python virtual environment management tool. A Python virtual environment allows for different versions of Python and different versions of packages to coexist without affecting each other. For example, the latest Python version as I'm making this video is 3.9. We can create an environment one to install the latest and the greatest Python version. On the other hand, if we need to run an application that can only be run on the legacy Python version of 2.7, we can create an environment two that is running with 2.7. Depending on how you want to manage it, you can also create separate environments for different applications. For example, you can create a data science environment that is running Python 3.9 and has the data science package of scikit-learn 1.1.1. And you can create a separate environment for web applications that has the Flask packages of version 2.1.2 for web application. With Anaconda, you can easily create these environments and switch between them appropriately. You can also share your environment to other developers if you want them to run your application under the same environment. After understanding what Anaconda is, the agenda for today is to first walk through on how to install Anaconda. There are two different tools that can be used to manage your Python environments, namely Anaconda Prompt and the Anaconda Navigator. Anaconda Prompt is like a command prompt on your Windows system in which you send out instructions through commands. Anaconda Navigator on the other hand has graphical interfaces and is more user-friendly for beginners. I will talk both tools in this tutorial. To install Anaconda, the first step is to download Anaconda Installer. To do that, simply Google Anaconda and usually the first search result is what we're interested in or you can simply type anaconda.com. So let's go to this page. You'll see that immediately the download button is shown on the first page. Notice that the default version of the installer is for 64-bit Windows operating system. So if you have a Mac operating system or a Linux operating system, you can click on this get additional installers to get the version of the installers that suits you. I already downloaded it to my drive, so I'm not going to download it again. It will take a couple of minutes. Once the download is complete, just double click on the installer. Click on next, I agree. I'm just going to install it for me. The destination folder looks good to me, so I will just keep the default directory. In the advanced options, the first item enables a user to interact with Anaconda with Windows Command Prompt or PowerShell. However, it is not recommended to be selected and we really don't need it. We will always use Anaconda Prompt or Anaconda Navigator to interact with Anaconda. So let's just keep the default setting and click on install. Now this will take a few minutes. So I'm just going to fast forward. After about 20 to 30 minutes, the installation is complete. So we can click next and then next. Uh, we don't need to worry about the tutorial. I will be talking about the tutorial. So finish. And that's it. We complete installing the Anaconda. Let's talk about how you can manage Python environments using either Anaconda Prompt or Anaconda Navigator. Once you install Anaconda, if you type Anaconda in your search bar, you'll see that both Anaconda Navigator and Anaconda Prompt are available. So I will be opening both tools just to show that how you can use either tools to manage your Python environment. Anaconda Prompt can be opened very quickly. Anaconda Navigator takes a few more seconds. I have now both Anaconda Prompt and the Anaconda Navigator open. So let's focus on the Anaconda prompt first. First thing you will see is that there is a base inside parentheses in front of the first command line. This just simply means that we are currently in a base environment. The base environment is the default environment that will be automatically created after you install Anaconda. We can check all the environments that we currently have in our Anaconda system by typing conda inf list 
and currently we only have one, which is the base environment. The asterisk shown on the base environment just means that the base environment is currently activate. We can also type conda list to list all the Python packages that are available in this base environment. So after a few seconds, it will list all the Python packages that we have. Here you go. It's a long list. We can also have the same thing on our Anaconda Navigator. So if we click on the Environment tab, we can see that there is a base environment and then all of the Python packages in this environment is shown on the right. Let's talk about how we can create a Python environment using Anaconda Prompt. To do that, we simply type conda create dash dash name. <coughs> Over here, we need to give our environment a name which I'll simply put env1 and then we need to provide the Python version that we want for this environment which will be 3.9 It will ask you whether you want to install these new packages so we will type y to proceed After a few moments, this environment will be created now this environment is created, we can check our list of environments again by typing conda env list. Once we do that, you'll see that now we have two environments. One is the base environment, one is the env1 environment. Now let's switch to the env1 environment by typing conda activate env1. You can see that now instead of base, we are in the env1 environment. If we type conda list to list all the Python packages in the env1 environment, you'll see that it's a much shorter list. One thing to notice is once you create an environment, the Anaconda Navigator will synchronize the result. So when we switch to Navigator, you'll see the env1 is also created. And if you click on the env1, it will also show all its Python packages on the right. Let's talk about how to create an environment using the navigator. So to do that, we simply click on the create button here. We need to give our environment a new name. So I will say env2. And in this environment, we will be creating Python version 2.7. Click on create. After a few moments, the environment 2 should be created. The environment 2 is now created. If we go back to the Anaconda prompt and then list out all the environments again, we can see that the environment 2 is also being created over here. We are still in environment 1. Let's talk about how we can install Python packages through Anaconda Prompt. To do that, we simply type conda install and then the name of the Python packages that you want to install. In this case, I will just try scikit-learn for the data science packages. After you hit enter, it will ask you whether you want to proceed installing all other dependency packages. So we will type Y to proceed. After a few moments, the installation should be complete. The installation is now complete. If we type conda list to list out all the Python packages, we should be able to see scikit-learn and all its dependency being added to our package list. Here, scikit-learn is being added and then all other dependency packages are being added as well. Anaconda Navigator will synchronize the result. So if we click on the env1, we should also see scikit-learn being shown on the right. And yeah, indeed, we do have scikit-learn in this environment. And that's basically how you create an environment and how to install packages on your environment. Now let's quickly talk about how to delete an environment. To do that, we simply type conda env remove dash dash name and then the name of the environment that you want to delete. So let's delete env2, which is done. Now if we list out all the environment again by typing conda env list, we can see that environment2 is being deleted. And then Anaconda Navigator synchronize the results, so you also remove the env2 on this screen. We can also remove the environment using the Anaconda Navigator. To do that, make sure the env1 is selected and click on remove. 
and then click on remove. After a few moments, the nth one environment is also being deleted. This basically summarizes how you could manage your Python environment by creating an environment, installing Python packages, and deleting an environment. In the next video, we will start looking at Jupyter Notebook, which is a web-based interactive tool that allows a user to write and execute Python scripts. Jupyter Notebook will be the primary tools that I will be using throughout this tutorial series. So I'll see you next time.